Okay, we're here for another update. So I'd start, figured I'd start with uh, unboxing some stuff that's been kicking around the front of the shop for a while. I haven't got to uh, clearing it out of the boxes, so time to unpack. I've got a few of these around. I add those to the pile. Two different old Virginia tins. Not cool there. Uh, butter churn lid. There. Uh, this is a military kitty bag or duffel bag. Uh, nothing really on it other than oh, there's a name that I can't quite read. Ribbon Robinson. There we go, Robinson. Anyway, like that. I'm hanging on top of the camera here. There we go. And then this, this is the other one. A, I don't know if any of you know what that is. Kind of a lazy little machine. I know what it is. Tell me what it is in the uh, comments. And a leg, put a leg up. That one, I've been looking for that for a while. Okay, well, this one, this crate that's been kicking around. Well, there's something you need, all you wives need out there. That's a bull ring that goes in the nose, not anywhere else. So, and see it, it hang in the nose so you can pull the bull along, get it to do what you want. That is, is, see those on the prairies a fair bit. And the tray from the Brandon Manitoba Company here. And some magazines on radio there. And one there. Some comic books. My host Silver, Zane Gray, uh, Dean Autry's Champion, Zane Gray's King of the Royal Mounted. There's a Canadian theme for you. And we have the Bronco, like, uh, what's his head, uh, ran off in. The baseball player, what the hell is his name? Hex is his name. And this came with the store. I'm not sure who she is. Michelle, somebody. Anybody recognize her? I don't know who she is. Michelle. Michelle, somebody. Obviously, was uh, sponsoring Black Velvet. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know whether just to toss it or sell it or what. Anybody let me know who she is, if she's somebody important, or she's just, uh, could be a Playboy model, I suppose. I don't know. Put her in the, the duffel bag. Here we go. And there's a book on... The uh, Russia-Canadian uh, game, signed by the author. Okay. And automotive. What's this? So uh, just an oil cap. Kind of boring. No, we got photographs of not anything to do with me. Oh, there's a dapper young guy. Are you? I wonder if he was a, on a cruise ship or something. Cat in a tub. Cat on a chair. See, we're even getting into the cat theme in regular photographs, let alone online. Cat in a suitcase. Cat being petted by a military dude. 
and with love, Lena, whoever Lena is. All right, uh, advertising ashtray for uh, for stoves. Uh, let's see, Winnipeg area fraternal order of eagles application for membership. Uh, I think these were for uh, coral lamps or something to that effect. And we have a bunch of buttons, just a bunch of vintage uniform buttons. Some pool, or not pool balls, I guess the billiard balls is what they are. Here we go. Ta-da, Bakelite probably. I don't know if those are going to stay there and roll away. Mm -hmm. More buttons. If you're into buttons. You've got lots of buttons, I'll tell you. Tons of things. Oh, and we got another one. Another buffalo nose ring. Buffalo bull nose ring. Right there. What's the other one? And pipe holder. Pipe case. There. I don't think there's a pipe in there. It doesn't feel like it. Ta da! Nope. It's for a Windsor pipe. Got a Windsor pipe you need a case for? I got one. Nutcracker. Nutcracker dude. There. Oh, head comes off, hat comes off. A couple saucers with an Indian on them. I think these are for uh, some area, some areas, um, teacups, uh, I don't know. Anyway, not sure why I got them. And the Rexall, Rexall sign, Rexall one cent sale sign. Ta-da! Oh, of course my arm's in the way, you can't see it, can you? Where's my hat? Rexall one cent sale. Yeah, a ton of stuff. Lots of little stuff. We've got a wooden, there's a whole whack of these in the wooden, um, oh jeez. Okay. Uh, yeah. Wooden sewing spools. There we go. Uh, got some hooks. ICG, Greater Winnipeg Gas Company, patches, if you're into gas company stuff. There you go. Corner from something. Would look good on a birdhouse or something, that'd be kind of cool. And uh, we've got some, these are arcade cards. They were sold by like five cents a piece out of a machine, 1940s, and these are licenses for various things. Uh, let's see if we can read one here. Something that's a, not that risque, or maybe something that is risque. How about this one? A general license. There you go, a general license. The holder being a ready, willing, and able person is entitled to do anything he pleases, wherever it pleases, whoever he pleases, provided it pleases, so-and-so, signed and sealed under the auspices of the League of Watch Your Step, signed by I Am Willing and You Be Cautious. Anyway, oh, there's a reckless driver's permit. There's a good one for uh, a lot of the drivers on the road these days. Kissing permit. Anyway. Got a whole whack of those. I got probably 800 of those kicking around. Uh, here's a screwdriver for an Androc uh, display of hardware. Not sure. It's the guy that bought the whole thing and I forgot to get the hook. And this is a 
cool exit sign. Let's see if it's lit up, it'd be really cool. Put that safely on the floor. Let's see, and pen tray. That's what that it is. Door handle for inset door. What else? Oh, we got a tomato wear set. Remember when these used to be popular? Could have gotten 25.35 for that at one point. Probably 15 now. 10 bucks maybe. And we got a Scotty dog. Little knee there. And what is this? Ford brush tape measure. There's something that will, something I think will go in that uh, treasure box. Is where it's going. And some buttons. Which, yeah, it's pretty boring. And right down to the bare minimum square nails, a hook, and a butterfly catch. Wasn't that exciting? Okay. One more, just this half empty box here that's been kicking around. Get it unpacked and out of here. Some croquet stick. Top of a refrigerator dish. Those are hot now for some reason. There were uh, aviation. Whiskey miniature. Shoulder pads. There we go. Let's go with the uh, shin pads. Whoa. There's the shoulder pads. So go with the shin pads we had last time. Over there. And this is Steuben. Called Trefoil or Trafoil. Trefoil. I don't know what. Anyway, it's Steuben, kind of a nice bowl, designed by Donald Dollard, Pollard, I mean, Donald Pollard, that. I'm back, I'm still here, don't worry, and Skidoo box, I don't know what that's from, no idea, somebody that owns a Skidoo will know. And some bridge cards, some bowling bridge cards. Aren't those kind of cool? Still sealed in cellophane. And what do we got? Inflating pump. And got some stained glass. That which is sold to Trapper up in Salt Coats. Trapper, come back and get some other stained glass, will you? Anyway, that's it for the moment. Got to set this stuff down so I don't cut myself. That'll be it for this moment of taping. So with all this unpacking, I've been putting other stuff on the uh, kind of the general store area shelf here. So I've been loading it up. Right, as you can see, got all kinds of stuff up there. I'm planning to load up some of this stuff here and this picture here and some pictures there and such on the wall beside it and all over it but uh, so we're getting the shelf full it'll be full in no time unpack a few more boxes and it'll be jam full Gotta move some stuff from the front onto the shelf as well so we've got lots of stuff I'll show you a little bit here until the camera goes out. Shall I sing while we're while you're looking? Don't want to drive you away from the channel or hurt your ears. Anyway, so there's some stuff for you. Got more bottles and stuff down here.
So here we go on the subject of the contest and on the same matter as the last item. It's a button. So this one's for the foxiest legs. So if you know somebody with some good looking legs, you can give them an award. In the box she goes. Happy pecking, safe pecking, take care.